Here we are, stood outside the magazine at Blythe Battery. The magazine was built in 1916, it wasn't really operational until World War II. The magazine itself was a single chamber that was divided in two by a large wall, and there's a blast chamber around the outside. If we can just pan over the side there, you'll see small doors. There's an air gap around and above, so that if the magazine was struck and hit, it would explode outwards into the field behind us. So further along the front of the magazine, you'll see our second door, originally in World War I and II. There was an entry door and an exit door, but behind me is the lamp room. There was no power in the magazine at all. It was all lit by paraffin lamps, which were stored in the lamp room along with the paraffin. It was the duty of one soldier every day to come along, light the paraffin lamps and put them into the magazine. We're about to go into the magazine and have a look in there now. Here we are inside the magazine at Blythe Battery. You notice in front of me the room is slightly narrower. Originally there should have been a device for taking ammunition to the guns underground, which is why the room is slightly smaller at this end. That device was never built, although it does appear on the plans. Behind me, the room was originally divided in half. The front half of the room was the shell store, where there was up to 1,370 rounds of ammunition. The back half, which is separated by a thick wall, had gunpowder charges in there, or propellant bags of ammunition. Originally there was a serving hatch on the floor and there are the remnants of a small metal rail for a sliding door. At the very far end of the room there was a changing lobby. You had to change from your ordinary outdoor clothes to special powder handling clothes if you went through there. Hi guys, well if you like the video please like and subscribe and of course this is Blythe Battery. Come anytime, it's fantastic.